Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Frankly FM84 and this is season three, episode one of an Englishman abroad, where we are currently out in Indonesia managing Sort United. So we are all geared up for our second crack at League One after a decent season last year where we started off quite slowly, had a bit of a dip mid-season, but ended really strongly and have now padded out our team with players that we feel can help us kick on. So in this episode we're going to kick off the season against Persa Bayer. We're also going to be playing against PSM in the league. So before we jump into any of the games, please a quick reminder to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button to let us know that you are enjoying the content and also any comments as always, drop them in the box below. But with all that said, let's jump into the first game and get this season off and running. Okay then, so the first game of the season is against Persa Bayer and the lineup we are going to go with is Darmawan, Harry, Polly, Mustafa, Bakhtiar, Urotmabin, Sarayan, Rimer, Wayu, Adija, Tiwu up front as Mandawan suffered a injury for three to five months in one of those pre-season friendlies. Hopefully we get off on the right foot, get three points in this first game and kick on into a decent season. So our league campaign is up and running, the game is underway. Not a lot happening early on. First 12 minutes have passed by without any event, no highlights so far. The team that we have built for this season is based around the tactic more than the players themselves. So rather than going and buying a load of individuals, we've looked for players who fit into the gaps that we need. Why he was in on goal there? How is he not pulling the trigger? Instead we get a corner instead of a goal and he should have been scoring from there. Aditya with the cross in gets headed away. And his second attempt at cross is quite poor. Ball's play back in and then the highlight ends. But yeah, we've tried to, rather than fit square pegs in round holes, we've gone out and bought the players who actually fit the system. So hopefully this year will be a much more compact unit at the back and a better unit going forwards in terms of the attack. We've got quick, pacey players on the wings. Got some solid, experienced defenders at the back as well. And we are on the attack here. And there is Tiru. Tiru has scored on his debut. That's a brilliant finish. It was a great cross. Ball gets played out to the right left. Let's have a look. Harry with the ball over the top. And Sarayan's not going to get caught there. Gets the ball, crosses it in. Tiru with the first time finish. That's quite a difficult technique. It's kind of on the half volley. So he's hit that hard and low past the goalkeeper to give us the lead in the game. Darmawan is now going to try and build an attack. Plays it out to the wing quite intelligently. Aditya with the ball over the top and Surayan using that pace to get in behind. And Rifki Surayan has scored on his debut as well. And he's another one. This is exactly what I was saying. So we've got players now on the wings who are going to be beating defenders for fun. Gets in behind. The ball's perfect. And that's a great finish as well. Hit it left footed. Past the goalkeeper. Give him no chance. And we have a 2-0 lead going in at half time. And that is exactly what I was hoping would be the case. We have hit the ground running. We've actually scored with our two shots on target, which is quite impressive. And Surayan, who's had a big part in the game already, tries a the ball there. It's not very good. And then a ball over the top. We've caught in behind, but luckily the shot hits the top of the crossbar, goes over, and the danger is averted. Rimea now plays it out to Dicha. He's going to cross the ball in, and there is Surayan. This kid looks like he could be... A perfect left winger for us. If you look at his run, he's just at the bottom of the picture there as the ball gets spread out wide. And instead of stopping the run, he's just followed the ball all the way in. As it's come to him, he's hit it left footy back across the goalkeeper, giving him no chance. And we are 3-0 up. And this is what we were saying come the end of the season. The formation had really started to help. And we were playing some really decent football. And there's a fourth goal for Wayu. The, the original shot there would have been... A brilliant goal in itself. Ball's gone to Harry. He has laid it off to Tiwu, who tries that first time shot. It's hit the base of the post. Why he was the first person to respond? The goalkeeper can't get down. And we have a 4-0 lead now. So, yeah, definitely. We, we knew that we were building something at the end of the season. The way the formation was working and the players that we were playing. And there's a fifth. We are really, really turning it on now. Only 56 minutes on the clock and we are 5-0 up. A 
Dieter turns after the throw-in, plays it back to Bakhtiar with the pinpoint pass in behind. Tiru timed the run brilliantly. Where the goalkeeper's going, I don't know. Diving close to the corner flag, done the goal, and it's tucked away into the far corner. So with the win sound and three points secure, let's just watch what happens here. A bit of defending, ball over the top. Big gap in between the two defenders there. I'm not too sure why they're so wide apart, but let's bring on Cray for his debut. And we're going to bring on... Who else should we bring on? Bring on Pamana for Romare. And we're going to give Wijanto a debut in place of Sorayan. He's done enough damage for one game. So, some fresh legs for Persibaya defence to deal with. But as it stands, it's 5 0 after 74 minutes, and this one is in the bag. Defending again to do here though, and he does it well. The young lad who's playing at defensive midfield has played really, really well today. Broken up loads of attacks for such a young age. Really hopeful that we've got a few players here as well who are going to develop into national stars for Indonesia, which will help the country grow as a nation. But also in terms of our first team, players to build around and hopefully develop for ourselves. Here's another one on the ball, back to you. Another great pass, and Tiru should have had a hat-trick there. It's a great stop by the goalkeeper, but really, he just hit it straight at him. No real direction on the path, uh, on the shot, sorry, and uh, he should have been scoring. And we're in again here with Janto. Wants the ball straight at play, so I'm not too sure what he was doing. Pamana with the free kick. Gets cleared away, and now Persebio looking. Oh, dear, just as I was praising... Erotmabin is gone and got himself sent off for a rash second challenge already on a booking. No point changing anything at this point. I'm just going to leave the formation as it is. Players are 4 4 1. And hopefully, run the game out. Two minutes left into the added on time, and there is the final whistle. And we have laid down a bit of a marker, really. We've started the season on the front foot as I wanted, and. A 5-0 win on the opening day. Maybe things are looking up for the club. And these players that we've signed are going to start pushing us forwards. So let's get into the second game and find out if we can keep winning. Okay, so the second game of the episode is against PSM. And the lineup we are going to go with is M. Darmawan in goal. Harry, Tata, A. Darmawan in defence. Back Tiara at right back. Bag Sakara comes in to replace Urotmabin, who got sent off in the last game. We've got Suroan, Romare, Wayu, Adita, and Tiwu is going to lead the line again. So there's an early highlight here after six minutes, and Suroan has given us the lead straight away. There's a bit of confusion for the PSM defence. Wayu heads it to Tiwu, who plays it to Suroan who then just hits it right-footed past the goalkeeper from distance. And that's a brilliant finish. Six minutes into the game, we have an early lead. And we are really looking like a team who is in form and a team that is going to be pushing on in this league. Even though no more highlights since that goal, you can see that we are dominating the game in terms of the shots and the shots on target. Not in terms of possession, which is... A little bit strange, but I guess we don't mind not having the ball if we're scoring goals. And then there's a ball there over the top. Tiru can't get onto it. And we've let them in behind. And there's an equaliser. Nazadit was equalised for PSM. Again, if, if we was to look back at that, the defenders there are really wide. And there's a big gaping hole between them. I don't know whether that's something that we might have to look at in the tactics, but was not great to see the two defenders get pulled so far apart and then they've just been letting on goal to have the shot. But in at the break with a 1-1 draw and then we're just going to send the team straight back out. However, more defending to do and Darmawan has to make a save from the shot from distance. Dealt with it quite well. And then Darmawan to Darmawan but Tiru can't find anybody with his header. We're not getting on the second balls all of a sudden. And again, there's a header cleared that is picked up by PSM. Now Suruan 
gets it. He lays it forwards to Tiwu. Plays it to Aditu. Gets knocked off the ball. And Romero has found himself in the box with a free shot on goal. Tucks it away past the goalkeeper. And we have hit them with a break, as it says at the bottom of the screen. Tiwu tried the ball. Aditu just goes to ground. And then when it comes to Wayu, lays it into the path of Romero, who finishes quite smartly in the end. Right footed past the goalkeeper down low. And after 55 minutes, we are back in the lead. However, straight away from a corner, we almost give PSM a goal with a free header in the box. That goes over the bar, and we survive that attack. But now got Tiru running down the right. He's crossed the ball in. Romero's there again. Harry's picked it up in the middle. Back to Yar with a pass. Surawan's in. Hits it straight at the defender who committed early, and we are going to get a corner kick out of this. Why you to swing it in? It's headed away though, nothing comes of it. And then Rombino is now on the attack and they're trying to turn defence into attack. But luckily it's cut out, ball played away and the highlight finishes there. So looking at the league table at this point, we would be on six points with two of the teams. But we are playing very good football at the moment. And I'm really impressed looking at the team and the inconsistencies that we had last season. It seems now we are a team that is going to dig in deep and try and fight for everything that we've got to try and protect ourselves here from getting any players unnecessarily sent off. So we're going to make three substitutions there. Players who are all on bookings. We have got quite a few players at the bottom of the screen there. Bakhtiar, Harry, Bagscara, Dicha, Romare and Surawan are all tired. But luckily they've given everything to the cause. They've gotten us another three points. And we start this season and this episode with two wins from two. And that's a brilliant marker to set for the season that's going to come ahead. Hopefully consistency will be key. And we can keep this run up. So if you've enjoyed that, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up button to let me know I'm doing a good job. And until the next one, thank you very much for watching. Take care.